What's up guys, we're back for another episode of Q, and Karasuno just won the first set thanks to Tanaka. Now obviously them winning the first set is freaking huge. They have all the momentum while going into the second set and they've already shown that they're really freaking good and that they can compete against the best teams on this tournament. So let's just hope that everything goes well during the second set and honestly the thing that I'm worried about is that I don't know if Karasuno can win nationals they did just recently become really good so for them to go on and win the freaking nationals tournament that does seem pretty impressive but I don't know man this season is only gonna have 12 episodes and we're barely finishing the first set so at most we're gonna have two matches in this part of the season and i'm pretty sure that if they want to win nationals they're gonna have to win a lot more than two matches so either they get eliminated at the end of the season or maybe they just continue to win and they'll continue the tournament in the next season obviously that would be the best case scenario but who knows Anyways, let's just enjoy the current match that's going on right now. So let's get into the episode. Oh, they're gonna show us Nekoma's match? I mean, we already know that they're really freaking good. Oh, hold up, they're going up against another good team? Oh, so this episode is going to be Nekoma's match? Cats versus monkeys. Yup, that's exactly what it's going to be. They have to win, right? Because we have to see Nekoma versus Karasuno. Hmm. But what's the matter? It didn't seem that way? <laughs> Yeah, it's true. I mean, he's still playing and he's really good at it. And he's clearly practicing. <laughs> Felt bad for him. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He does like it. Secretly. And he's out here playing sports. Yeah, he's obviously somewhat athletic. Who the hell wakes up early to play video games? <laughs> oh, Karasuno actually made him want to get better and try to beat them? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna win. We have to see. What was it called? The battle at the garbage dump? That's his way of saying want to go practice. <laughs> Two teams with a very good defense. This probably seems like a very annoying match. Yo, hasn't this rally been going on for like two whole minutes? Wait, they're deliberately avoiding scoring? Why would they do that? Alright, well, you know, that seemed like a good strategy. Ah, but they are scoring, though. Oh, they're trying to tire him out? So basically, they don't mind losing the first set. 
Yeah, they're trying to freaking make him tired. <laughs> That's actually pretty genius if you think about it. Because the setter is one of the most important rules. And they're calling him Nekuma's brain. That's that's very respectful for Kenma. I mean, the other team made a whole freaking strategy to take you down. <laughs> okay, clearly his stamina is not as good as everyone else. <laughs> he just looks at life like a video game. <laughs> Well, I'm sure all this practicing did help with his stamina. They're trying to tire him out, but I'm sure that he's played three sets before, so... I mean, look at him lifting weights and everything. He should be fine. In fact, I'm pretty sure that not even Karasuno lift the weights. And he can receive as well. <laughs> Ooh, fake them out. <laughs> so what happened? Did Kenma not become really good until after dyeing his hair? <laughs> it seems like in animes, changing your hair is a sign of changing your like personality. I mean, I've never gone to the gym or don't know anything about working out, but I feel like that seems pretty good for your legs and jumping. <laughs> Look at that, he's always been good. <laughs> Even his teammates have noticed. Oh, and what happened? He fucked it up? Okay, he was uh, messing up pretty badly. <laughs> You know, for a second, I thought Kenma was going to give him some words of encouragement. It looks like he still might. <laughs> of course, that pissed him off. That he lacked guts? Is <laughs> Why does he always say that? Showing more guts isn't just going to make you better at everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he knows it's true. Damn, Kenma is very direct. <laughs> Sometimes you need to fight. <laughs> Just as long as they don't start throwing punches or kicks. <laughs> Man, those two are freaking crazy. <laughs> I hope they're, they're not like that anymore. <laughs> Mr. Freeze says to chill out. That That's his nickname. <laughs> Pretty what? <laughs> So maybe Kenma started working harder just to try to beat Yamamoto. <laughs> and he freaking dumped him. <laughs> well, yeah, not wanting to lose. That's pretty good motivation. That's why they call him the brain, huh? That's actually pretty cute. <laughs> Look at that. They're, they're friends now. <laughs> and they never stop fighting, huh? Oh wait, he does call him that. <laughs> and he's taking a lot of steps in this game. Look at that, he messed up that pass.
Man, they're all trying to crush him, poor Kenma. Well, it looks like this episode and the next one is gonna be focused on Nekoma and more specifically, Kenma. Now, they've always shown him as a person who doesn't really try too hard. He always does what's necessary and what he has to, but he never seemed like the type who would practice for extra hours or jog in the mornings before going to school, stuff like that. But clearly he's always been very talented, he's always been good at volleyball, and he's practiced enough to polish his skills. But right now, the other team is trying to take advantage of his weakness, which is his stamina. And as Tora was saying, Kenma does not have much guts. And that's what they're trying to exploit. So they're trying to tire him out because he's a very important player for Nekuma. He's their main setter and he's their brain, as they're calling him. He always picks up on what the other team is doing, on strategies. Not to mention that just being the setter does require a lot of brain power. Since you have to be aware of the teams, all the players, where they're at, what to do, stuff like that. So by tiring him out, they're gonna try to make him lose focus. And clearly it's already working. I'm pretty sure that they're on their second set. Ken was already sweating, he's getting tired, he's messing up some passes. So I wonder what he's gonna do to overcome this. Since stamina isn't really something that you can improve on the spot, but he can always show guts, try harder, just move one extra step in the moment where he feels like he can't walk anymore. Next episode, we're gonna see how much he truly cares about the team, about winning, how far he's willing to go in order to win. He's gonna have to work extra hard this game by the looks of it. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna win because we have to win this the battle at the garbage dump. We just, we need to. They mentioned it in like the first season and we still haven't seen an official match between Nekuma and Karasuno and right now is the moment for that to finally happen. So I am rooting for Nekuma and I'll see you guys in the next episode and I hope you guys stick around.